Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you are doing good, I want to believe you are doing great. In this video, we are going to be doing an analysis of GBP JPY on what to expect from the market this week. In case you just coming across our videos, in case you just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, I want to say big congratulations to those who were able to take the trade based on our last analysis of GBP JPY. When we did that analysis, the market was here and we did say that we expect the market to go bearish and you can see from um, Monday or from Sunday night through um, Thursday, we can see the market sold quite significantly. I think um, it's been a while we had this type of move within one week. It's pretty long. We had this type of move within one week and it happened last week. So the market sold uh, from here down to this region. Then we saw a um, bullish rejection on Friday. So if you were able to get in on that, I want to say a big congratulations to you. Now let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see GBP JPY started buying around this region and um, it got to this region, made attempts to sell, then continued buying. Then it got to this region and we can see around this region we've had um, contentions, strong contention among buyers and sellers. Um, at some point we thought the market is selling, at some point we thought the market is buying. But at the moment, this is the month of December, we can see the market is currently a bearish candle. And um, let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, you can see the market bought this much. And of course, the RSI got to the overbought region. So we started expecting the market to sell, but the buyers refused to give in for the sellers. And it bought up to this region again. It was until two weeks ago we had this um, bearish candle. So we expected the market to sell last week. And you can see that exactly what happened. So here we can see the 10 day simple moving average is about to cross over the candlestick here. Now let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can see um, after the market ranged around here for a while, it started buying, made a double top here. So we expected the market to sell, especially um, considering the fact that we have a double top here and we also had um, a 10 day simple moving average cross over the candlestick here. So we said that the market will sell um, last week, and you can see that exactly what happened. We sold this much. Then on Friday, we saw this bullish rejection. And the last candlestick on Friday was um, a pin bar. Then let's consider the four hours time frame. On the four hours time frame, you can see the market sold quite significantly. And after it got to this region, we saw bullish rejection. It ranged here a bit, then started buying again. So the last candlestick on the four hours time frame is a small bullish candle. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Um, firstly, let's look at the monthly time frame. Let's look at this on the bigger picture. Now, the market bought from this region up to this region. And looking at the RSI, we say this over and over again that the market has gotten to the overbought region. And what do we say about um, the market getting to the overbought region? We should start expecting a bearish move. Also, considering this, looking at this region, we can see that the market is currently at a resistance region. And at the resistance region, it is also called a supply region. And at this region, it is logical to expect the market to sell. So, um, this, even though the buyers refused to give in for sellers, at this time we had the market sell this much and buyers pushed it up again. The next month was bullish. The next month we saw a little bearish intention, the bulls push it again. So that's just what has been happening. But at the moment, this is the month of December, we can see that the market is currently bearish. I think it was also last December that we had the market sell this much. Yeah, it was last December we had this um, huge bearish move. So there's possibility that that could happen again this month. So um, having explained all of this, it has gotten to the overbought region is at a resistance region and at the moment we can see bearish intention so at this region we had already started expecting 
in fact, from around this region, we've been expecting the market to sell, but the bulls had refused to give in for the bears. So coming to this, um, the weekly time frame, we had um, this bearish candle here after a bullish candle. So we want to call this a tweezer top, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. After having this double top here, we still had the market pull this month, and here is a tweezer top. So we expected the market to sell. So at this region, the market sold down to this region. I can see this region has been a support region for um, GBP, JPY for quite a while. Uh, for several months, I think it's up to four or five months that um, each time it sells to this region, it starts buying again. So last week, it got to this region and we saw bullish rejection. Now look at the daily time frame. Look here. We have this double top here and we have this huge move and of course it has retested this region which we considered which we say is a has been a support region for gbp jpy for a while now so having made this two, um pin bar after getting to this support region we expect the market to buy now listen listen the weekly time frame we've had the 10 day simple moving average cross over the candlestick remember we stated that fact we have it here and this is a bearish entry trigger so um what we want to see this week is the market buy of course since we have bullish rejection we have pin bar we have a pin bar here on the daily time frame we expect to see the market buy this week and retest this region give me a moment Look, the, look at this. We expect to see the market retest this region. Remember this region was previously a support. Remember the market ranged here for a while. But up and sold down here, got to this region and we saw bullish pressure again. So it sold down here. Now it made a double top here and this region was a support and we expect it to be a resistance now so we expect the market to buy back to this region then we'll see a bearish reversal candlestick pattern around this region when we see that we take a sell and we believe that this time around this region which was previously which is a support and it has held the market for quite some months we expect this region to be broken this time around and when that happens we'll be pretty sure that we'll have quite a huge bearish move from there so that is what we're expecting from the market this week we expect the market to buy a bit retest that region you heard what i said see this is a pin bar so we expect the market to buy a bit retest this region make a bearish reversal candlestick pattern and go bearish pretty hard so um this is the next region to expect the market to get to that will take a lot this is the next strong support region we expect the market to get to um, that will take a lot. So we expect this region to be broken um, this time around. And when that happens, this is the next region we're expecting the market to get to. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week and perhaps beyond. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, you don't want to take this trade, you can watch this video for educational purpose and it's going to serve you better than risking your heart and money in something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it covers beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. I strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out in the Forex space or anyone who is yet to find his way around the Forex market. So if you want to get this course, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get our Forex course. We also have an option where you can get the same course at 70% discount, but for only one month. So if you can't afford to get access to the course for a lifetime, you should be able to afford to get access to the course at 70% discount. And within this period, you should be able to watch all the videos and read all the books. Then you reserve the rights to either cancel your access or renew it. So if you want to get access to the course at 70% discount, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can do that. And if you want to subscribe for a signal service, we'll give proper entry, stop loss, and take profit. Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service 
and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy if you want a hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles you can find our social media handles in the description of this video tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you'll have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now